Oke okay, guys, semua nambah ya ya. So, if you imagine a giant has taken a slice out of the hill and elevated it to the sun, to pointing to the sun at its zenith on Midsummer's Day, um, that elevated slice has now created a rock slot, a void, a negative space from where it came. And if you were to lower it back down into the hillside, the sculpture, which is made from core 10 weathering steel, would vanish completely because it because its back arcing edge is topographically informed by that landscape, by, by the hill. Um, that's the important thing, that it's, it's, uh, it's all informed by the landscape. Build something 55 meters tall. You know, there aren't so many materials around the planet that, that you can actually build something in that very windy location and it stand up for decades, maybe centuries. Um, This thing will stand up for centuries if 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 the if the future generations um, want it. So um, so steel was my chosen idea because I wanted a thin, pointy form. And Corten weathering steel is ideally suited to that. Uh, it's got a beautiful, rich red or, or, or orange color, um, but also it it uh, it stops rusting after a couple of years it's quite interesting it forms a patina this protective layer on its surface so unlike the fourth bridge which once you've got to the end of repainting it you need to go back to the beginning and start re re repainting it um quarter weathering steel is, is is essentially weatherproof for for many many decades 